Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this ISTQB foundation exam question and answer video, I'm going to cover another five exam questions along with detailed explanations and how you are going to tackle the exam questions for ISTQB foundation. So previously we have covered up to question number 30. Now let's go ahead to question number 31 and see what exactly they are asking. So here you'll see which two options, right? So here you'll see that you have to select two options, which two of the following options options are the exit criteria for testing a system make sure that here you are looking for exit criteria so go through these options and we have to choose two which are the options for test for exit criteria okay so here you will see the first one test environment readiness is it the exit criteria so test environment readiness is entry criteria right so you might get confused test environment readiness so we have to be clear on entry and exit criteria and what exactly they are asking so they are asking the exit criteria but test environment readiness is basically an entry criteria to start the testing right so this is out this is not the correct option because we are looking for exit criteria the ability to log in to the test object by the tester this is again ability to log in that means this is entry criteria for starting the testing this is not the exit criteria criteria so that is also crossed out estimated defect density is reached right now this is an exit criteria why because you are doing the testing you are already performing the testing and during that testing this could be one of the criteria that is mentioned that once the estimated defect density has been reached then we can exit testing right so this is one of the correct answers let's go to the next one requirements are translated into given when then format absolutely not this is incorrect this is not a criteria for exiting the testing right requirements being translated into given when then format is not actual testing okay last one so obviously the last one will be correct then if that's not the correct so regression regression tests are automated so yes regression tests are automated is one of the exit criteria and can be mentioned as an exit criteria so these are the two options c and e which are the options for exit criteria for testing a system okay so c and e is the correct answer moving to the next one your team uses a three point the three point estimation technique okay to estimate the test effort for a new high risk feature okay the following estimates were made so most optimistic was two person hours most likely estimate 11 and most pessimistic was 14 person hour what is the final estimate now three point estimation technique there is a clear formula for three point estimation technique the formula is o plus four times most likely plus the pessimistic so o stands for optimistic m most likely and p for pe pessimistic i mean that so divided by six okay so here you will see that we have clear calculation and based on this calculation whatever number comes that is what our answer is so if we say most optimistic estimate was two person hours right so two plus four times most likely so four times most likely is four times 11 L most likely was 11 so 4 into 11 plus pessimistic the pessimistic estimation was 14 and then divided by average that out to 6 divided by 6 so let's see what the calculation is so this is 44 right and then 246 50 56 and 60 right so overall if you add that up is 60 divided by 6 so 10 so that means the answer is d 10 person hours okay so make sure that you read the syllabus you understand and you learn some of these formulas that are there so this is three point estimation technique the formula is o plus 4 m plus p where o is optimistic m is uh, most likely and p is pessimistic divided by six okay so that's where three point estimation technique any of their answer you can basically easily calculate and the answer is d which is 10 person hours okay now moving to the next one which is question number 33 you are testing a mobile application that allows users to find a nearby restaurant based on the type of food they want to eat consider the following list of test cases priorities a smaller number means a higher priority right so a smaller number in the priority means that's the higher priority test case and dependencies okay now which of the following out of these so this 
this is the table that we have to go through and based on that what they are asking is which of the following test case should be executed as the third one okay so let's go through this particular list and see the dependency and see which one will come as a third test case okay so if we if we say test case one will go ahead and try to execute first right there is no logical dependency obviously this can be executed independently okay so select type of food it, even though it's priority three doesn't matter there is no logical dependency if we go ahead say for example with the test case two okay we try to execute that there is a dependency on test case one so anyways we have to execute test case one first before we go ahead and execute test case two right so there is a dependency in this case there is no dependency if we go to the test case three which is get direction which is test condition is get direction priority is one but can we go ahead and execute it as the first one right so if we go ahead and say we want to execute as the as the first one there is a dependency on two so we have to first go ahead and execute two and then if we go to the two we say that we anyways have to execute one so we have to in order to execute three we first have to execute one which is select food type then we have to execute two if we, we come to two so we have already executed one then we select the restaurant and then we come to three which is basically get direction so because we have already choose, chosen the restaurant then we can execute get direction okay so on the third at the third number if you see this will come three so you can you can execute one as independent okay then obviously for executing the third one you have to go through that first two test cases initial two one and two in order to come to the third one so third test case will be tc003 will be executed as a third one because prior to that you will have to execute these two anyways okay so tc003 that means a is the correct answer for this one okay so third question or question number 33 in the overall list okay now here you'll see there's just one option that has. so that means we have came up to the conclusion for this particular question now moving to the fourth question of this particular list so consider the following test categories one to four and agile testing quadrants a to d okay so we have usability component functional reliability and then agile testing quadrants one two three four which is more of technology facing supporting the development team and then we have to what we have to do out of these we have to how do following test categories map into the agile testing quadrants okay so in these in the four quadrants of agile testing so if you go to the syllabus and i have explained in the course as well there are different uh, four four quadrants and where these testing fit in those agile quadrants that we have to map okay so first thing let's say usability okay let's say usability and we see different quadrants here so if we go ahead and see q1 so usability is more of technology facing supporting the development team no usability is more of business facing so it will be somewhere in the q2 and q3 okay so q2 is business facing supporting the development team no usability is business facing and then critique the product so usability one maps to c okay so we can say one is mapping to c and now let's go to the option do we have one map mapping to c yes we do have two now we can straight away eliminate if we are 100 percent sure that this option is 100 percent correct so we can eliminate b and d now we just have we are left with one and c uh, a and c which have one c okay let's go to the second one and we'll conclude the answer in a very clear way so component testing okay so component testing is unit level right so this is again we'll go through a b c d q1 q2 q3 q4 so technology facing supporting the development team right so yes this looks absolutely correct because component testing is more of component uh, or a technology facing and it supports the development team so two mapping to a looks correct okay so we can say component facing is more of tech q1 quadrant one technology facing supporting the development team now we go to functional testing let's quickly go to, to the other ones as well functional testing which is three and let's see other quadrants functional testing is again business facing okay and then it supports the development team so it is three is b and then reliability okay reliability is again business facing okay so the quadrant three and reliability is uh, sorry reliability is technology facing but it critiques the product okay so four maps to d okay so reliability is about technology but also critiques the product how reliable the product is right so the correct answer here is a so if you see one c two a three b and four d so this is the correct answer for this particular question okay now moving to the next one 
So once you understand these quadrants, then you will be able to easily map these in the exam. Okay, so make sure that you go through the syllabus, go through the course that I have published, then it will be very easy for you to conclude these questions. Okay, now moving to the last question of this particular video. So during a risk analysis, the following risk was identified and assessed. All right, so risk was response time is too long to generate a report. What is the likelihood is medium and risk impact is very high. So likelihood is medium, but impact is high. And what the response of that particular risk was an independent test team performs performance testing during system testing. Okay, that's the response that they have taken for this risk that was identified and a selected sample of end users perform alpha and beta acceptance testing before the release. So there is a concrete action that has been defined for this particular risk that was identified. Now what measure is proposed to be taken in response to this analyzed risk. Now out of these you have to select one option because they have mentioned it here. What measure is proposed now because they have proposed the concrete plan. Okay, so concrete mitigation plan. So the correct answer is risk mitigation. Okay, they are not accepting it. So risk acceptance is there is no concrete mitigation plan. They accept it saying if it happens, we are going to accept. All right, there is there is not a contingency plan. This is not transferring to some other person or team, right? This is mitigation. There is a concrete action that has been defined. Independent team will perform the testing, then selected sample and user will perform alpha and beta testing. So the correct answer is risk mitigation, which is number C. Okay, so that's all for these five questions for ISTQB foundation exam. In the next video, I'll cover another five question and how you are going to answer ISTQB foundation exam question with detailed explanation and also how you are going to apply the elimination strategy. Okay, so that's all for this video. I hope it was helpful. See you in the next one. Thank you.